On behalf of Gene Book Nerd, we're here with the talented Kevin Alejandro, representing Lucifer. You guys know him from True Blood. I, I think he's a great dude. Tell us a little bit about the show you got going on right now, my man. Well, first of all, I think I'm a great dude, too, just to <laughs> let you guys know. And for those of you who think otherwise, you're wrong. Um, no, dude, I'm here at the Mammoth Film Festival. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a fantastic time. I've been fortunate enough to be accepted into the festival as a director. I have a short film that I, that I, uh, that I directed and executive produced. It's called Bedtime Story. Story of a, of a man trapped in a world, this business uh, uh, of being a writer that's much bigger than him who wants a certain success like we all do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And inevitably in the end, you may or may not get it. Or if you do get it, it's not the way you expected to get it. So I don't even know if that makes sense. Oh, no, it makes perfect right, sense. It's done. very deep. Um, the viewers at home, I'm sure when they get a chance to check this out, are going to love it. Uh, where, where can we find that? Uh, you know, right now I'm, I'm doing the festival run. Eventually, I, uh, uh, I'm gonna. I'll put it on my YouTube channel, which is uh, Kevin Alejandro Films, or I'm sorry, Alejandro Films on YouTube. Um, you know, and I'm trying to, to just do as much as I can with it. Uh, you know, for the team to help put it together. There was a, there was a big group of us, uh, and out of respect for all of us and all the hard work that everyone has done, I wanted to to push it out there and see how much people would like it as much as we do. Hopefully. And we have been, and we have been very gracious for you to bring the film here to the festival. Um, the reaction has been phenomenal. So after this, what's next? Do you have any new feature films coming up? Uh, you know what? No, that's a great question. Actually, I don't have any feature films coming up. Uh, I am presently looking for something during my hiatus because I am tied to a show, as you know, Lucifer, which is on Fox, um, and I have a very small window in between seasons. So I'm trying to find something to direct and also star in. Uh, so that's, you know, hopefully that will come into fruition soon. Uh, but you can look forward to me as a director uh, on my own show. I get to, I've been uh, fortunate enough to be uh, approved to direct the final episode of this season, season three of Lucifer. That's, that's big news. I mean, yeah. how does that feel? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. You know, honestly, it's a sort of, sort of uh, it's great to, to be able to direct a show that you're already a family with. So that's gonna that's gonna lighten the the, the weight and, and the insecurity that I may or may not have going into it. Um, but you know it's it's it, it's it's a lot of pressure. But I'm honored that the team of people that I work with uh, trust me enough to handle a show like that and and give me that opportunity, that shot to sort of express myself through my own eyes. It's, it's a very vulnerable uh, sort of position to be in a director because you're you're not you know as an actor you you. you you make believe, you, you create this character, but as a director, I think you sort of uh, reveal a certain part of the way you think and the way your eyes see. And uh, that's, uh, that's a vulnerable place to, to put yourself in, but uh, that's what I love about it, you know? No, that's incredible. Um, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come talk with us. Um, and all of us here at Gene Book Nerd, uh, we want to wish you the best of luck on your future endeavors, um, especially as a director. That's super exciting. Uh, we always like to see talent coming up and you know going for different different avenues. So thank you so much for for taking the time out of your day. And that is turning the page with Gene Book Nerd. What's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, man. Cheers.